Hello everybody, Freedom Fighter here. Welcome back to, to, the, to the streams. We're going to be content going back back into the pinball arcade today. And we're going to be playing one of my favorite tables of all time. Spa Space Shuttle from ba from Willi Williams. This, ta this table I love to death. This was act this is this is actually the first pinball machine I I ever got and uh, it's still fun, it's still fun to play all those years all those years later I I de I definitely do do like it and it's kind of, it kind of feel it, it kind of feels great that yesterday I went I went I went to what's brewing in San Antonio and I actually got to play the sequel space station for the first time in real life and man that table that table is hard much harder compared compared to this game compared to the, this game but well, you'll see what I mean when we get to it so Yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah. Just I know, our space shuttle is broken down. I know what's I know what's wrong with the, what I know what's wrong with it. It's ba um ba basically it, it the balls don't the balls don't eject um when you start a game. Base I'm pretty sure it needs a new sw new switch. I just can't. I just can't remember what which switch to actually order. Hang up. Hold up. I forgot. To, I forgot to do this right before I recorded. Recorded. Gotta. Okay. Now I can do this. Now I can do now I can do this. So at, least, at least I'll be able to play and play it. And we'll be at least be able to play uh space shuttle here on the Pimble Arcade through Steam since my actual machine is not working. Eventually one day it'll get fixed, I'm sure. Let's go let's go to it. Ready for liftoff. for all these golds and try and try and try to get to the, the wizard golds and try to have a pretty decent game on here so, let's get let's get to it let's get to space actually well first i gotta do the table history so so space Sh space shuttle is a classic williams table designed by barry osler and, and joe C Comico. It features a fantastic spa space exploration theme and was the first Williams game to feature a, a playfield toy with, with its rep, rep with its replica of a Na NASA space, space shuttle. At, at the time of its release, pinball uh, re revenue was way down. The commercial success of space shuttle allowed Williams to keep making pinball Craving the way for all of the great of the great tables released after 1984. 
with, with its great features and out of this world playing action excitement. This game is w once in a mil in a mi mil <coughs> excuse me in a mi in a master no, no, masterpiece. Seven thousand units were uh, in this table were produced. That's quite high for a ta in table, and I have seen se seen this quite a, quite a few other times. Besides my machine, I seen one other in that. It was a pretty nice shape, and, and uh, it had the uh, score score display the score displays uh, replaced. But other than that, it it was pretty much almost a, a little bit. Not, I'm not sure if it was nicer or not, but uh, honestly, I can't remember because honestly. Their space shuttle was it was brewing because it's not there anymore. When I went there yesterday, their space shuttle was nowhere to be seen. They got replaced with space station. But yeah, let's let's get into the space shuttle. Let's see what we can do this table was also on. The uh, Pitfall Hall of Fame Williams collection um, was Ready when that for was released uh, for the uh, PlayStation 2 original, original Xbox and uh, Wii. You can, since this table is no longer available, this version of the game. You can't go out and buy, and buy the, uh, the Hall of Fame Williams collection for, for PlayStation 2, Wii, and, uh, and PS3 and Xbox 60. I think all those versions have this table on it. Basically saying about the table is that... Spelling shuttle by by hitting the uh, targets on the, on the left and the right. Once you, once you spell shuttle, you you will get whatever is lit on the value. So right now, if I spell, we got fifty thousand points. What you want to get get it to where to where possibly. Light out for the extra ball on the special. You can very rarely gonna get the other one, the others lit, but you mostly will probably get lit. It's the 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. Also, every time you 
time you go up the center ramp, uh, you can use the ball to stop and score. That's basically your kind of jack, big jack mark to score. Basically, shoot it when you get to 90,000 points. enough to get on the uh, high score list. That is not my uh, my highest uh, score on sp on space shuttle. I gotten I gotten over at one point where I rolled over the score like in the 10 million range is where my hi my highest is. And we're not we're not done. We're gonna play another game here. I want to see what standard golds are left. Activate three ball. Okay, so we need to activate three ball.
close airlock. No! in the first game. We gotta try again. We gotta get three balls. We can't just get two balls. stuff going on in this table. 
For a space shuttle here, we did pretty much everything you can do in the game. Um, we'll enter our initials here again and just see what the uh, wizard golds were since I just unlocked them apparently. Wizard golds collect the extra ball shuttle value. Increase the spinner spinner value to seven thousand. Get the T drop target bonus, earn a special, and score a four four and eighty three point bonus. Those are quite those are quite difficult. Those I have I have done on my real table, but I guess you could say I haven't done here. But anyway though, that is space shuttle. Um so on the Pimble Arcade. On uh, the next table on to more cave, what we're gonna do actually, actually, what can't, what, uh, what's, what's after this was, I believe Whirlwind was after this, which is another, which is another classic, so, Whirlwind will be next, so, see you guys, and see you guys then. <laughs>